waxing your bicycle chain has become really popular in the last few years because it improves the performance and the longevity which all sound brilliant but how on earth do you wax a chain you can do it yourself at home and invest in equipment yourself or come to a bike shop where they do it for you which i've done today i might ride 24 7 in Sirencester, my local bike shop and i'm going to wax my chain and show me what the process involves so let's dive in and find out how it happens Okay, so today we are starting with a brand new chain, a Shimano 12 speed. It just makes life a lot easier. You can use an old U chain if you like, but the same principles apply. Before we wax, we clean. It's a deep clean to remove any factory grease if a new chain like this, or if a U chain, any dirt or oil that might be lodged in the nooks and crannies of that chain. Even if it looks clean, we still have to clean it. That's because cleaning is actually the most important step of the entire waxing process. The cleaner the chain, the better the wax can do its magic, and therefore the better performance we can get. A degreaser or chain stripper is applied to the chain and brushed over to remove the grease and dirt. Ride 24-7 is using a road washer, a professional cleaning system. But if you're doing this at home, a bottle or container will get similar results. Then let the chain dry and wipe off the excess. Now the second stage of the cleaning process, yes we're not done yet, is to put the chain in an ultrasonic cleaner. An ultrasonic cleaner is a luxury for the home mechanic and quite an expensive investment, so a good reason to leave it to your local bike shop. Leave the chain in the cleaner for about 10 minutes and when the time is up, carefully remove the chain and then clean off the excess under a running tap. And now the next step of the cleaning process is to dry the chain. It's vital, really important, the chain is absolutely dry so wax is to do its job properly. An air compressor like this is the best tool for the job, something that all bike shops have but few home mechanics do because they're not cheap. You could though let the chain dry for a few hours or overnight if doing this at home. Now the chain has been deep cleaned and thoroughly dried, we can use an old coat hanger or bent spoke to make handling the chain easier. We have a crock pot or slow cooker with hot wax that has been thoroughly warmed up and we dip the chain carefully into the hot wax. Remember the wax is hot so definitely take care of this stage of the process. Give it a little shake to drive the wax in between the plates of the chain. The bubbles you see show the air being forced out more the nooks and crannies the plates and pins of the chain. We've left the chain in the wax for about 5 or 10 minutes with the heat turned off. And now the chain is ready to be pulled out carefully from the hot wax. Leave the hang and dry over the crock pot to collect any drips of excess wax. Once the wax has dried, which won't take long, and it's cooled down and safe to touch, you can remove the coat hanger or bent spoke from the chain. The links will be tight as you see here, but that's normal, just excess wax on the chain. Now back into the box, I can take it home and fit it to my bike. Right, so I'm home. I've taken the old dirty chain off. I've given the chain set, cassette, and jockey wheels a really thorough clean. I've cut the new chain to length and I fitted it, and it looks really good. So that wasn't really that difficult, was it? Especially when somebody else does a waxing for you. Now, this video hasn't been sponsored by anybody at all, but if you do want to get a chain waxed 
then Ride247 are offering you a special discount, 20% off a brand new wax chain or Tegra or Dura Race. Follow the link down below in the description and use the code on screen right now. So a really good way to get a wax chain with none of the hassle, um, get ready for Christmas, winter, ideal time to get your wax chain on the bike. So this is actually my first time with a wax chain. I know, I know, I'm well behind the curve. So excited to see what the fuss is all about and whether it's really worth the expense and a bit of the hassle if you are doing it yourself at home. Now, in theory, on paper, the chain with the coating should last several hundred kilometers before I have to worry about doing anything. And when I do have to um, apply any more lube, I can use this. So the chain has been waxed in Silka's own product and this is their super secret chain coating, which I can use to keep the chain running sweet. One of the benefits I'm really looking forward to with the wax chain is not having to clean the drivetrain ever again, in theory anyway. So after a ride, all I have to do is wipe down the chain. I don't have to degrease the chain, the cassette and the chain rings. So it should be uh, very low maintenance, which is ideal at this time of year. So I'm excited to see what the benefits of the wax chain are. It looks clean and hopefully it'll stay clean. That's the idea, the promise and should last a lot longer as well. And also gives a bit more performance, which is nice, a nice side benefit, but not the main focus for me and probably lots of you waxing a chain at home. So what I have to do now, go for a ride and see how it performs. The chain is a bit stiff at the moment due to the waxing on it, but apparently it just takes a few gear changes and a few meters of riding before it all loosens up and becomes normal. So once again, a big thanks to Ride247 for waxing my chain and showing me what the process involves and offering you lovely viewers a discount on a brand new wax chain. i use that link down below in the description. Anyway, let me know if you wax your chain or if you're new to waxing your chain or you think it's a load of nonsense, but leave a comment down below. And if you want to see a review on this lovely C68 on which the wax chain is fitted, then watch this video up here. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to the channel by hitting the button right here. Anyway, I'll see you all again very soon. Thank you so much for watching.